What's up YouTube? Welcome to this series. Today we're going to take a look at LeetCode 175 combined two tables. We're going to go through all database problems and this one is one of the first I came across and it seems quite easy but there's a little catch. I'm going to give my solution that should work in all SQL or SQL dialects so let's get straight into it. If you're approaching this problem you should know your basic keywords and the order of execution as select from where, join in this case as well and let's just take a look at the problem statement. We have two tables, one called person, one called address, and the tables share person ID. It also states that person ID is the primary key for the table person, and the primary key for the table address is address ID. Person ID is the only key that appears in both tables, so that will be uh, the field that we have to use for joining. Now the problem statement itself says write a SQL query for a report that provides the following information for each person in the person table regardless if there is an address for each of those people. So that is probably the catch. If you read that information you should think about an outer join. In this case a left outer join or right outer join uh, which is just written as left or right join. So. What that means for that table is something that's best visualized by just running some examples. Lead code is of course a perfect environment for doing that by just running these test cases. Um, so the catch here is that a simple join won't suffice because you want to show information on persons regardless if there's an address for each of these people. So that is really the catch. But let's just start out by writing the basic query. I mentioned select from where, it's always good to use that as a template. In this case we probably don't need where, but we do need a join somewhere. So in terms of fields we should output problem states first name, last name, city and state. First two belong to the table person, second two belong to the table address. So we're gonna write out first name, last name, city and state. In this case we can just use the basic field names and don't have to add the name of the table in front of it like person.firstName because these only appear once in none of these tables. So it's not ambiguous, first name doesn't appear in person and address so that we don't have to specify anything else. Uh, we want to select from our person table and our address table because some of the fields are in the address table. So we will add join address and doing that on the specific field person ID which is the one that appears in both tables. Um, so we want to match that on person ID from person table and uh, address table. That is always the, the format I use to make it more verbose and be able to change it. If you were to use a regular join in MySQL you could also use the using keyword and shorten it a bit or use implicit joins but that is really the best way to be able to change it and change it to a left join and maybe change that field to something else in the future. So that is the format I prefer and the one you're probably most safe with. So I could really recommend you guys to use that one as well. Uh, we don't need where here because we don't filter on anything. We could filter for example to a specific city or state to do that but that isn't really required in the question. So we're going to remove the where and if we were going to run this the regular join will get a different result than the one we should produce. So in this case we don't get any results so no values from that query because we don't have a match in here that fulfills this condition person ID is addressed to person ID. Because if we look at the test input we have a person called Alan Wang that is having person ID number one and then in the address table we have 
a person ID, which is the second field here of two. So address ID is one, but person ID is two. So we don't have a match here because we have person ID one in here, but then only an address for person ID two. So we can't match anything here, which is why we have an empty result. Uh, with another test case, this might work, but this is a good test case to really show the issue that we're facing here. So in order to fulfill that condition of providing the information regardless if there is an address for each of these people, we need to use an outer join. In this case, left join because we mentioned person first. We could also use a right join if we interchange the order of the tables because what a left join does and what is visualized quite well here is that it takes all values from the first table you specify, in this case person, so up here, and also the matches that are produced by matching with the table. So if we had a match of person ID 1 in the second table, we would get all the fields for that person. So the first name, last name, city and state. But if we don't have that, we only get first name and last name, which would be uh, this side of the Venn diagram. B would be addresses that don't match anything in person and that is not selected by the query. And this would be the way to write it out. Um, in this case we just have to change the join to a left join and that's what we're going to do right now. Um, what I already did in this case. So running that query now should give us the person we had, Alan Wang, and then no address information since it didn't match in the address table. Um, and that is the solution we required. Now, if you wanted to change that up and make it more explicit, you could also write left outer join, or you could change it, that, that is just a more verbose way or just more words to do the same thing, but you could also change that to a right join if you change address and person. So that gives the same result. I think it makes more sense to use a left join here. It may depend on your background, but if you go on left to right first, the way you're reading uh, text or sentences, and then also the way the query is stated, uh, get the information for each person regardless if there's an address for each of these people. So if that would be the second thing, so uh, address should come second in my opinion. Um, so the preferred solution for me would be the one on screen right now. And that's pretty much it for that problem. As you can see, it was one of the first ones I solved already two years back. Um, and yeah, that's been it for this video. Hope that made it easier for you to understand left joints and what the problem in this question lays. And I'll see you all in the next one, hopefully. Bye.